Is it the right time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into Intel. We previously shared an overview on our website on Friday, February 2, 2024. Now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. To stay up to date with our latest analysis, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. It's important not to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since January 26, 2024, our system has classified Intel as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 2.45. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 2.41%. This translates to an average daily loss of minus 0.40% since it was identified as a sell candidate. Based on the current three-month trend, there is a potential 16.53% change expected over the next three months. This could result in a return between 16.53% and 47.41%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 60.05% change expected over the next year. This could lead to a return ranging from 42.10% to 98.14%. In terms of price, this translates to a range of $60.54 to $84.41 after one year. Our latest update on Intel brings news, Intel stock price down 1.75% on Friday. On the last trading day, which was Friday, the 2nd of February 2024, the Intel stock price experienced a decline of 1.75%. It dropped from $43.36 to $42.60. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated by 3.68%, starting at a low of $41.60 and reaching a high of $43.13. Although the price has risen in 7 out of the last 10 days, it is still down by 11.53% for this period. The volume of shares traded increased by 15 million on the last day, but this occurred while prices were falling. This might serve as an early warning sign, suggesting a slight increase in risk over the next few days. In total, approximately 53 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to around $2.27 billion in value. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price of Intel stock was $51.28, while the lowest price was $24.73. At present, the price is 16.92% or $8.68 below the 52-week high, and 38.52% or $26.69 below the all-time high on January 24, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Analyst Ratings It was reported on Monday, January 29, 2024, that Goldman Sachs gave a sell grade to Intel with a hold action. On Friday, January 26, 2024, Oppenheimer gave Intel a perform grade with a hold action. Cantor Fitzgerald reported on Wednesday, January 24, 2024, that they gave Intel a neutral grade with an initialize action. Tigris Financial gave Intel a buy grade with a hold action on Friday, January 19, 2024. On Monday, December 18, 2023, Needham reported a neutral grade for Intel with an upgrade action. Analysts have given Intel stock a general rating of neutral. They consider the P-E ratio and price to book as neutral. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a rating of buy. In this video, we will discuss the signals that have been identified for Intel. Currently, there are few to no technical positive signals for Intel stock. Both short and long-term moving averages indicate sell signals, suggesting a negative forecast. The relation between these two signals also confirms a sell signal, with the long-term average being above the short-term average. 
If the stock experiences a correction and moves up, it may face resistance at the price levels of $44.14 and $46.90. However, if the stock manages to break above these levels, it could issue by signals. On Wednesday, December 27, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a decline of minus 16.08% so far. This indicates a possible further fall until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, currently shows a sell signal. It's also worth noting that volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could serve as an early warning. It is advisable to closely monitor the stock in light of these signals. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence had a sell signal. Pivots also had a sell signal 26 days ago. Bollinger had a buy signal 3 days ago. The short-term moving average had a sell signal 7 days ago. The long-term moving average had a sell signal 7 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages had a buy signal 5 days ago. Now, let's look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average had a sell signal 7 days ago. The long-term moving average had a buy signal 68 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages had a buy signal 213 days ago. If you want to find more signals, visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today, let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Intel. Intel has found support from accumulated volume at $42.35. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upwards reaction when the support is being tested. When it comes to trading this stock, it typically has average movements throughout the day. With good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. Looking at the recent performance, the stock moved $1.53 between its high and low, which accounts for a 3.68% change. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 2.9%. Before we delve into potential trading levels for Intel, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's discuss the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This critical ratio measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. Intel currently has an exceptionally high P-E ratio, which suggests that the stock may be overvalued. However, it's not uncommon for technology companies or those with significant market potential to have such high ratios. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is expected to be released on April 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings per share are at $0.180. It's important to keep an eye on these numbers as they can have a significant impact on stock prices. Today, we'll be analyzing potential day trading levels for Intel. If the stock shows an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $43.35. If you're not currently holding any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached before considering a position. However, if you're already invested in Intel, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the other hand, if Intel experiences a downward movement, its first support level is at $42.35. If this support level holds, it could present a potential entry point, with the anticipation of a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, Intel has received a combined average rating of neutral. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. In the most recent insider trades, Zinsner David was involved buying and selling a total of 195,191 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we have determined that the insider power ratio is negative, specifically minus 7.618. Overall, insiders have purchased 379,158 shares and sold 440,641 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and unfortunately, no stop loss has been set. Is Intel stock a good buy? 
We have analyzed the current state of Intel stock and unfortunately, we see several negative signals. Despite the positive trend, our evaluation suggests that Intel may perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued based on the volatility and movements observed during the last trading day. Looking ahead, for trading on Monday, February 5th, we anticipate Intel to open down by approximately $0.157, starting the day's trading at $42.44. Before we begin, it's important to keep in mind that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. Therefore, we strongly recommend consulting a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Additionally, please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing the information provided, you acknowledge and assume responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome back. Today, we're taking a closer look at the current view of the stock. We would love to hear your thoughts, so don't hesitate to comment below and share your opinions. Also, we're curious to know what your target for this stock is. Remember, your engagement matters to us, so please like and subscribe to our channel. On behalf of the entire Stock Invest team, we hope you have a successful trading experience and a beautiful day.